So this is how my hair looks after second wash, a few days after the curtain treatment. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be testing out this Amazon Liz curtain treatment which uh, I've got sent from Nutri Professional Cosmetics. And uh, as you may know, I'm a big fan of any curtain treatments without formaldehyde. Uh, and I've been testing uh, different curtain treatments on my channel already. So I'm pretty excited to test this one out. Uh, this curtain treatment comes with, as you can see, this is by the way, like an un <laughs> unboxing. Uh, I haven't even opened this yet. So you get gloss, which is nice because uh, without our curtain treatments, I actually didn't get any gloves. So I had to uh, go to Target and buy um, a pair. Uh, yes, but you get a uh, shampoo, the clarifying shampoo, uh, which you have to use uh, before the curtain treatment, and that's what I'm gonna use uh, in a moment. As you may see, my hair looks terrible, but I washed it like a few days ago, so it's like three, four days old, and yeah, it's not the freshest, it looks terrible, so I can't wait to wash it. Uh, then you get the curtain treatment, and by the way, you have... 16 milliliters here so around two ounces of product i'm actually curious to see how long it's gonna last um because it's, it's not it, it's pretty small um it smells good it smells like a mm, like a chewing gum bubble gum and you also get the repair mask so pretty standard uh, and by the way, you can buy this curtain treatment on Amazon. I'm gonna link um, down below in the description box. So these are the instructions here. You can take a look. Pretty standard. You gotta wash your hair at least two times. I probably will wash three times um, with the number one clarifying shampoo. And then I use a hair dryer and hands to dry hair to about 85 percent dry and then section hair into six equal parts with hair clips i haven't done a uh, curtain treatment for a few months already like at least four or five months uh, i need to check when was the last curtain treatment i did but i uh, yeah it's been a few months um and i feel like my hair is getting uh frizzy so i feel like it's a good time to uh finally do some uh curtain treatment I just cleaned my hair with the clarifying shampoo, first step. Um, you don't really get a lot of product. I'm trying to see how much I have left. I can't really. <laughs> uh, but I think around a little over half of the, the bottle, so not that bad. Uh, considering that I did wash my hair uh, three times. So uh, I'm gonna go and blow dry my hair because that's the next second step. Uh, use your hair dryer and hands to dry hair to about 85% dry. This is my hair right now after uh, using clarifying shampoo. Mm. As you can see, it is curly. My natural hair is curly right away. If you haven't seen my other videos. Um, and correct in treatment helps me smooth it out so whenever I actually wash my hair, blow dry it, even without using a round brush, it just dries uh, straight. So it's really nice, especially when you really don't have that much time to, um, I don't have a mirror so I'm using my camera. Um, it's, it's really nice, especially if you don't really have that much time to, you know, style your hair every morning you can blow dry it in literally two minutes. Like my hair has never dried so quickly uh, before, but with the curtain treatment, like it dries super quickly. Uh, it's very low maintenance, so I love it. This is how my hair looks after brushing through. It's, it, it's actually surprisingly, it wasn't that hard to um, brush through my hair after using this um, shampoo. I hope I got everything out because usually when I use a clarifying shampoo, my hair is very rough and it's very hard to comb through but i did have uh curtain treatments in the past so it, it is possible it just you know the effects are still there i just blow dry my hair and as you can see it looks like that mm. oh. <laughs> 
I mostly have problem with this area right next to my scalp where obviously there's no correcting treatment at all, you know, even from the past when I um, did the keratin treatment. So I do still have some leftovers of keratin treatment, um, like on my ants. But right here, like you can see some curls uh, and I want to get rid of it. You have to consider that um, with every keratin treatment uh, you apply, uh, you're gonna get better results, that's for sure, because uh, your hair is stronger, your ha hair still has some keratin uh, buildup, so it, it you're always gonna get better results, and uh, the results will last longer, so that's something to consider, you know, don't give up, because, you know, your first keratin treatment didn't work out, it's always good to um, give it another chance, okay, Let's uh, see, third step. Section the hair into six equal parts with hair clips. Okay, I have one, so what I'm gonna do. Uh, the ends of my hair still have cutting treatment, and uh, so yeah. Something to keep in mind if you're applying keratin treatment for the first time, just uh, watch my first video uh, where I did apply the keratin treatment for the first time. So uh, I was actually sectioning my hair more carefully. So let's just focus on the parts where there's no keratin treatment if you are doing this for you know second or third time. So I'm gonna use gloves. And uh, keep in mind, even though there is no formaldehyde in this product, uh, it's always good to do this treatment in a ventilated place uh, because it is a chemical product. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I have windows open here and there, so I should be fine. Uh, maybe I will turn on the fan. Um, but yeah, it, it really depends. I haven't tried this keratin treatment yet, but. Uh, I know that there are some keratin treatment uh, that make your eyes stink, so it might be a little bit uncomfortable. That's the only side effect. <laughs> Sipping on my um, matcha here. It's actually matcha mixed with sencha from <laughs> Costco. I love this one. Mm, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna do two sections. Looks like that. So the consistency is very creamy. Uh, I'm just gonna apply a little bit and distribute it nicely on my hair here. And I'm gonna use a comb to brush it through. So I'm focusing on this part right next to my scalp where there is no cutting treatment. Um, but if you're doing the curtain treatment for the first time, make sure the whole length of hair is saturated. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for a mask because when I'm working with this product, uh, my eyes start to uh, water, like it starts to sting. Uh, my nose, so uh, I'm gonna go and look for something because it's just gonna be a lot easier. Uh, you can get uh, a mask in your pharmacy, in CVS, online, wherever you, you can. I got my mask. Uh, actually with a mask on, for some reason it's actually worse. Uh, my eyes are like, were really burning. Uh, so I opened the windows a little bit more and I turn on the uh, fan on high. Hopefully it's hel it helps. Um, so this is definitely like the strongest smelling uh, curtain I've used. So just something to keep in mind. Well hopefully results will be even better then. <laughs> 
Okay, why is this here? Ah. As you can see, like I'm not super careful with this. Like I'm just applying product, make sure it's evenly saturated. And yeah, otherwise like the, the process would be so like yeah. I'll be too frustrated to do it myself. Although I was pretty frustrated in the salon too when I did my first scratching treatment, which had no results by the way. I sat there for five hours and then I washed my hair after three days and there was no results. Can you imagine how frustrated I was? You know, I spent so much time in the hair salon and then I didn't see any results. So I'm so glad I discovered keratin treatments, which you can do at home because these actually work. Oh. Yeah, make sure you're in a well ventilated uh, area, really. Okay. And last part. Not bad, around five minutes it took me to um, Ooh, strong. I, I think it's coming from the bottle, to be honest. It's the bottle that I keep open because I need to apply the product. Oh, uh, well, now I understand what people say. <laughs> Use ventilated rooms to apply the treatment. It's not the most comfortable, but I'm trying. That's why I'm trying to be even faster so I can just like be done with this process. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna um, be so intense uh, uh, later when I'm gonna be blow drying and shading my hair. I think this process when you're applying the, the product is the most uncomfortable. Okay, so I apply the keratin treatment all over my hair is pretty nicely saturated. I probably even applied a little bit too much product, but uh, next step is basically uh, I will need to straighten my hair uh, from top to the middle uh, eight, ten times and from uh, middle to the end six, four, six times, uh, less times here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, blow dry my hair and then we'll get to straightening. Okay, so uh, I decided to just come here with a blow dryer because uh, I need um, I needed a extra ventilation. But yeah, it's not really drying quickly. I definitely uh, put too much product in, so hopefully it's gonna dry <sighs> soon because it's very hard to breathe. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I finally blow dry my hair. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna record the video like that. Uh, yeah, my nose is still very sensitive to, uh, to the fumes, but I'm gonna start uh, straightening it and yeah, I'm using this um, straightening brush which I bought on Amazon and I prefer it over a flat iron because it's just a lot faster to straight your hair and it works as well uh, actually, to be honest, even better than flat iron. I tried different shredding brushes and also flat iron to do the creatine treatment with and the best results I got with this brush um, or similar looking brush basically uh, because I used another one um, which is which is different and it wasn't as good as uh, this one. This one, as you can see, is pretty wide. So yeah, it just it's just gonna take a lot less time. And I set it up to 410 degrees, and I'm gonna use this uh, glove, heat protecting glove, which I also got with this uh, straightening brush. It's just gonna protect my <laughs> fingers from getting burned because when you have to um, uh, straight one part like over and over again, it gets hot. So. It's, it's pretty convenient to just have uh, this. And as you may notice, I'm gonna go around four, six, times at the beginning uh, whole length of 
uh, the strand here. Three, uh, four, five, and then I go to the middle only. Extra few times. I don't want to burn the ends because obviously they are more damaged than. Okay. And I'm, as you can see, I'm again, I'm not being like super diligent, I'm not being super careful because I already did the, the treatment so many times in the past that I kind of know how my hair reacts and what my hair can tolerate. But of course, if you're doing this for the first time, be careful and do uh, exactly as the instruction says. Um, I kind of figure it out the way, you know, works that works for me. So I just do it. The smell is not so strong anymore. It was the worst when I was applying and then blow drying. Oh, okay, and I got just gonna whiff. <laughs> right when I was saying that. No, it's not so bad. Oh. Okay, how many times did I go through the section? I straightened my hair as you can see. Mm, pretty sleek. Uh, so the next step is. Rinse the hair and apply the intensive repair mask, so the step three, and work it through the hair. Leave on for five to five, uh, three to five minutes. Rinse again, blow, blow, dry the hair. That's all. So basically, what I need to do now: uh, rinse my hair, apply the mask for three five minutes, and then uh, rinse my hair again and blow dry it. So let's do it. Okay, I just rinsed my hair and applied this mask for like around two, three minutes. And now I'm gonna blow dry my hair so we will see results. Just brush it through. It's gonna be easier to blow dry. Definitely feels sleeker. It's probably, even though I did my best to wash off the, any product access, if my hair always feels like that after cutting treatment because it binds to your hair so it's like your hair is so sleek like if you would have you know product in so that's definitely nice um and since i started doing cutting treatment like i was able to grow my hair pretty long and i definitely see a huge difference like even my hair style is like when i went to just clean up uh and cut the ends like she was like oh you know i don't really have much to cut like i'm just gonna cut a little bit um so that was the first time ever i got a compliment from a hairstylist because they usually complain about my dry damaged hair you know that's my natural hair like they're curly they're dry so they will you know get damaged a lot easier so let's get to uh blow drying it and see results So my hair is pretty much like 90% dry. I mean, looks pretty good. <laughs> I love that uh, even though it's, it's straight, it still has some volume. These are pretty great results, uh, um, considered that I have curly hair. And this is how it looks after I literally blow dried with a uh, <laughs> blow dryer uh, without using a round brush. Uh, so this is why I love curtain treatment. Um, I mean, it's super easy and it lasts months. So if you have curly hair, but you don't have time to style it. And you know, if you want to have sleek hair, straight hair, not frizzy hair. And if you want to be able to blow dry your hair in literally like less than two minutes. Um, so this is it because normally my hair dries so slow. Like literally when I had curly hair, like I would leave it to air dry and it would take like four hours, sometimes even longer to blow dry, uh, to, to dry it, you know, naturally. So in conclusion, uh, the treatment worked really well. And if you are considering 
carotene treatment definitely give it a try because you will be in love with the results like i actually feel bad that i missed out on the carotene treatment for so long i remember when i was in school still and i wanted to do the carotene treatment but you know if it was so expensive to do it in a hair salon it would cost like over 700 um dollars to do their treatment and it was just like the price was crazy uh so you know i i was just passing on it and i'm so glad i finally decided to uh, do the treatment at home because it's super cheap and i mean i always get <laughs> amazing results so uh it's so worth it like my hair is a lot healthier uh, i can grow it finally uh, i don't have to cut uh, my hair so often anymore because uh, it I don't see that many split ends as I used to. <laughs> Last time I cut my hair in December and it's May currently and I don't even feel like uh, I need to go to a hairstylist anytime soon because my hair, um, the ends of my hair still look uh, pretty healthy. Hi everyone, so it's been exactly one day after uh, washing my hair for the first time and this is how my hair looks like keep in mind i only uh blow dry it um without using uh any brush so and this is how it looks like after a day not so bad you know considering i have naturally curly hair um and i was actually at the beach today so a lot of salty water sand wind So this is how my hair looks after second wash. A few days after the curtain treatment, I blow dried it on medium heat and cold heat uh, using my hands and then later a brush. So as you can see, the ends of my hair uh, are straight. If I would just use my hands, um, they would probably get uh, a little curly like yesterday, but because I used just a regular brush, um, it's, it's pretty straight. So. I'm pretty happy, looks really great, and it took me about five minutes and less to blow dry my hair um, straight out of the shower, so they were like soaking wet. Not bad. <laughs> so it's been a few days since I did my curtain treatment, and as you can see, this is my second day here, so it does look amazing. Obviously, I slept <laughs> on it, so um, yeah, but. You know, you gotta keep in mind that I have curly hair naturally, so this is this is pretty straight. Uh, yeah. The only thing, uh, maybe I messed up. I think there's some kind of a wave here. When I was doing the curtain treatment, it's possible I just wasn't careful enough. Uh, but a part of it, like you can see, it's, it's super shiny. It's straight. <laughs> um, it's really nice. Looks really good. If you want me to record like an update after three to six months, let me know. I can definitely do it and just give you an update how my hair looks after a few months. Uh, but so far, so good. Okay, I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.